portion of the meeting where we were a lot of sharks. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to ask you uh, get in there and ask some questions of the, of the wonderful of the there. You have about three minutes, the total, about three minutes. Okay. Why don't you guys come on this side here so we can hold me in front of the charts? You know me? <laughs> <laughs> about your benefits. So I know that you said that you're going to uh, be helping the customers because they're buying less expensive material. But could you also market that as helping solve affordable housing? Because if the customers are able to buy less expensive material, maybe they can pass some of those savings off to the home buyers as well. From a marketing perspective, you may be able to make a claim that by offering contractors less expensive materials, they're able to pass some of those savings on to the home buyers. So you might uh, have a compelling pitch that you help make housing more affordable. Just a thought. Great job, guys. Thanks. Great, great job. Also, really like hearing what you thought you were going to learn and what you actually took away from that. So I thought that was really well done. One of the things that I thought about is maybe not so much, I know it's materials and construction materials um, that you're focusing on, maybe not so much just from the people who are building houses, but I think a lot of times home homeowners take on some of these construction projects on their own, and I think one of the frustrating things for homeowners when they go into Home Depot or Lowe's is one, finding someone who can help them find what it is that they're looking for, because they're maybe not as well versed in understanding all the differences of the materials. So have you thought of maybe a program inside your store that could make it easier for consumers that come in, or homeowners that come in, to find what they're looking for? Because I think one of the benefits you talked about was being more helpful and having some of those programs. What about inside the store? What's the experience there? I mean, we will have um, customer service inside the store. That's one of our big priorities that our customers do want to come in after out. And also, we were, we were actually planning to have uh, like an iPad where they can look up their material they need, and then it will say, "Oh, go to this alley and um, or go to this alley and get and like see what's up there." So, okay. I think that's great. I think that's a big big problem for homeowners when they try to take on these projects. Um, I guess another question that I had on your cost structure. I know you t put on there costs around the rent and your building, your transports. What are your thoughts around the cost of people, employees? How many do you think you need to get started? What I didn't hear you talk anything about hiring people. Uh, so of course, uh, as our founders, uh, since we're a small company, we're just starting off. We would want to start off as employees as well, not only just founders, but also um, employ ourselves into our own business. But then further on, once our uh, business starts growing. We like to use some of the money to actually hire some employers and also uh, be able to pay them the enough minimum wage to work at a business. Great. Great. Thank you. Nice uh, talk. <coughs> well, give us a few minutes so we can get together first. Let's prompt them when we were probably halfway through so everyone can be aware of the time. Have a good day. All right. Well, thank you guys for having me and thank you for the presentation. I appreciate it. So, one question I have is why construction? Well, you know, there's lots of industries, and I just wonder yeah. why that. Yeah, well, recently, I had I took a job with my dad, mm -hmm. and it was based on construction, on flooring. So that gave me, like, the inspiration to, like, think of 
hey, we can make a company based off construction because I've been like surrounded with materials, tools, and I'm like, okay, so this is a pretty big company. And I and I thought like we can make it like we can go further and beyond and like we can try to make our company based on construction. So when I say that, you're thinking very correct. And whatever position, whatever you do in life, always look at what you're doing and figure out how to make it better. Yeah. That's what I've done in my career and it's helped me out immensely. And there's always ways to improve. Um, and one thing I'd say is looking at all this, my family has been in construction 60 plus years. And uh, construction goes like this, as you know, homes and everything else go up and down. One of the challenges I see that you guys have is inventory. I deal with e-commerce. I sell inventory. If it doesn't move, you're sitting there paying for it, holding it. So what I was wondering is, as you talk about shipping and getting stuff out there, I've thought about not necessarily you doing shipping, but follow something that Amazon just recently announced, where they allow people to start their own company and become fulfillers for Amazon. So instead of you guys having your own delivery trucks, having the cost of insurance, gas, people, resources, I could do personal on, on the job site, go, I want to order this. It goes out to five different companies, kind of like Uber Eats or any of those. They come and get it from you and pick it up. All you guys do is get out the door. They go deliver it for a premium. And you guys don't have that overhead. <laughs> they like the idea. <laughs> so you're going to think about it. <laughs> so you think of it? I haven't heard it. Yeah, well, no, I, just, I, look at, I look at it because the inventory is a challenge in construction. What if there was a downturn or a housing crash and you've got it? A million dollars an item sitting there. You know, it's a challenge for you. So how do you reduce that? And that's one of the things I would encourage you to think about is how do you reduce your inventory to keep as little as possible? Um, and I have a friend that's in construction in Hermosa Beach area. A lot of homes are going up. They don't have a lot of real estate to store wood. What they do is they store all the fasteners of wood. And those are things that people need the day of the job. And it's small square footage to hold, high perceived value. So that's the other thing that we're taking. 